Hello Primary 3! Happy New Year! Hope you had a good Christmas too. Now, the plan this term was to cover weather. We were going to look at snow, at rain, at sun weather across the world. But it's going to be a wee bit more challenging to do that at home. However, I think we can still learn a lot about the weather. And so this video, we're going to do three things. And hopefully the doggo doesn't get in the way too much. He's a very good boy. Yo, so to do this, we're going to create a calendar where we can record the weather. We're also going to create a rain gauge so we can measure how much it's rained. Lots of rain in January. And we're going to build a windsock, all using things that you can find in your house, hopefully. So for this activity, you're just going to need pen, pencil, ruler and a piece of paper. Now, we're going to have to use a ruler accurately and well. We're going to have to draw straight lines going to have to identify the days of the week and we're going to have to think about the actual date. Right, so we're going to make our calendar for three weeks of tracking the weather. So what we need to do is I needed to make a mark down the side every seven centimetres. So take your ruler, pop it aside. Now remember, we wouldn't start with our ruler here. We always start at the zero start. Right, so every seven centimetres, I'm going to make a mark. So there's seven. Oh, count up another seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or two times seven is 14, I could think. There we go. And that's fine. So I've got two marks there. Now what I need to do is draw from one side all the way over to the other. Now I need to make sure that my ruler's straight. I can't just start here and then draw my line like this. It's got to be straight across the page. Do you remember what that other word is for straight lines? Not vertical, it's a different word. Horizontal, that's what we call straight lines. Horizontal, straight lines that go along the way, sorry. <laughs> so, there we go. There's one horizontal line and another one here. Again, making sure that my lines are nice and straight. Again, if you've got a longer ruler, it makes things easier. But if you've got a short one, it shows that we can match them up. There we go. Now what we need to do is on this line, every four centimetres, we need to make a mark. So again, start with my ruler at the zero, not over here, at the zero, and every four centimetres. So one, two, three, here's four. Another four. Four add four is eight. Eight add four is 12. Oh, now I don't have enough on this ruler, so I need to move it all the way up again to here. So I'm back at the zero. Now I'm coming up four again. Eight. 12. Okay, great. Now that I've put those marks in, what I can do is, using my ruler and placing it vertically, that means up and down the way, vertically, I can draw my line where that four centimeter mark was all the way along. So I get this kind of grid effect. Just like this. And we keep going. So once we're finished, our calendar looks a little bit like that. Now we've used a ruler, we've drawn straight lines. What we need to do now is put in the days of the week and the dates. So we should be all right with our days of the week. We've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But don't want to have you writing in a, the full word for every day of the week. What we can think about is we can shorten them. And you see this a lot in calendars, people shorten the words. So Monday... What do you think that would be shortened? Mond. Not quite. What about m? Mm? That'd be a bit too short, wouldn't it? It's usually mon. m o n. So there we go. Mon. Tuesday. Again, shorten that one. It becomes choose, which is t a s. Choose. Wednesday. Comes wed. Wed for Wednesday. Thursday. Thurs. At the start. Can you see what we're doing every time? We're just cutting off the day, aren't we? Monday is missing. Tuesday missing. Thursday. Wednesday's a funny one. Friday. What do you think Friday becomes? Fry. If you said that, you're right. Yep. Fry. Saturday. How can we shorten Saturday? Could shorten it to sat. Sat. And Sunday. Can shorten that to sun. Then I want to repeat that for the rest of the calendar. 
So there we go, I've got all my days in. So we've used the ruler, we've drawn straight lines, we put the days in, now we need to add in the dates. So this requires a wee bit of counting. Now, if you didn't already know, today is the 11th of January. So I could put the number 11 here. So now we have to count up days of the week wise. So we've got the 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Now, if you've done it correctly, we should get up to Sunday, the 31st of January. Now, every day for the rest of January, I want you to wake up and have a wee look outside at the clouds, up at the sky, at the weather. I want you to draw in that box what the weather's like. So looking out my window today, it's quite cloudy. There's no blue sky anywhere. So there we go, Monday the 11th, I'm saying it's cloudy outside. However, we're also going to try and measure the wind and the rain. And to do that, we need to do those next two tasks. We need to build a wind sock and a rain gauge. Now, this really isn't as daunting as you think it is. These things you should be able to find in your house, hopefully. You need a plastic bottle of some kind, plastic bag, a scissors and sellotape. That's it. Right, so we'll start by making our wind sock. This is an instrument that can show you how windy it is outside. So all we need to do is cut the top off our bottle. So here we go. It might be a bit tricky to start with, but once you get there, you should be able to cut it off easily enough. And there we go, top of the bottle, cut off. Now I want to get my plastic bag and scissors and cut this into long, thin strips. Just like this then. Ooh. They don't have to be really tidy as well. They could be a wee bit messy. There we go. Doesn't have to be perfectly straight, it's okay. Now, once you've cut four or five long strips, what we want to do is using your sellotape, want to stick them to the bottom of your bottle so they hang down a little bit like a jellyfish. Okay, so tape on this bit, just attaching it to the bottom, to the top of my bottle. So it hangs down like that. So there we go, I've stuck all four on and I've made a windsock. Now at this point, if I was you, I would pause the video and make sure that you can get that done. Now, provided you have done that and you've now got your windsock made, there's two things you can do. If you've got a balcony or if you've got a wee garden outside or a porch or that, you could get some string, attach it to the top and then you could let it hang outside so it's always outside. But if you don't have that, that's fine. You can just hold on to it and every morning you can go outside. So that's what I'm off to do right now. So by standing outside and holding up my windsock, I can see how windy it is. Now on a scale of one to five, how windy would you say this is? Hmm, I think maybe a three, a three out of five for wind. So coming back to my calendar then that I created, we said it was a three out of five. I could write that as a fraction to show that. So we said there was out of five, so there's five parts in the hole, that goes on the bottom, and we gave it a score of three, three out of five. You could even draw it as a fraction. And then the final thing that we need to do is to create our rain gauge. Now this is actually really easy. We're just gonna take the bottom of the bottles that you chopped off. So I'm just gonna take the wrapper off this bottle, best I can. There we go, like that. Now I'm quite lucky, this bottle that I've got has actually already got lines on it. And I can turn that into a scale to show how much rain has fallen. But if you don't have a bottle with that, that's okay, you could just use your ruler again. And if you've got a Sharpie, eh, it would be really good to write on the bottle. But if you don't, I've improvised here, I've got some masking tape. We use loads of that in the classroom with me, loads of masking tape. I'm just gonna start to mark now on this gauge where the lines are. I'll start at zero. Then have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I marked up my gauge there. Now the only thing left to do is to stick this outside somewhere. Maybe you could stick it, if you've got a railing on your window, maybe that on a balcony, outside in the garden somewhere. If you don't have the garden, that's fine. Maybe just even outside the front door, that would be great. Every morning, gonna go and have a quick look to see how much water is collected in your rain gauge. Of course, that means we can't mark it up today, but it means tomorrow we can. So that's it. Lots of work done today. You've made a calendar. 
using a ruler, measuring accurately, thinking about days of the week and counting up uh, in two digit numbers. Um, you made a rain gauge as well, and we created a windsock. And so your task now for January is every day to update your calendar with a wee picture of the weather outside, the wind, and the rain.